Well, look, I've got the same advice for friends and family at any time, let alone Christmas. And the advice is this. Number one, being. So they're made in God's image. Celebrate them. Be with them as somebody who celebrates what they love, what they enjoy. The presents you give them should celebrate what, what they love. So celebrate them. Secondly, doing. Serve them. So what's the biggest pressure? How do I help alleviate that? You know, there's the whole 1 Peter 2, live such good lives among the pagans that though they revile you, they see your good deeds and give thanks to your Father in heaven. So they, 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 they can't deny that the life you're living, it's useful you're around. But then thirdly, telling. And on that one, I'm trying to prayerfully develop a bit of a pain line question for all my relatives and friends, which will be individual for them. So for example, for a neighbor whose back isn't getting better, I might say to her, look, what happens if it never gets better? And at the moment, she's focused on human happiness. I've got to get my health better and everything better, and then I'll be happy if my environment's right. Whilst the Christian faith, of course, is about Christian joy. Paul wrote about joy in the letter to the Philippians, and he's chained to a Roman soldier in prison. So I'm trying to get a pain line question that may un uh, sort of reveal lots of hunger. It may lead to hostility. I've got to be ready for that, but I'm looking to do that. So three stages, being, doing, telling, get your pain line question. Make sure your identity is in Christ as you ask it.